What's up, fellow collectors? Welcome back to the MIB Master Toy Museum. I'll be a curator today. Guys, we're moving on to our uh, part two of our series that we're covering the G.I. Joe Classic Collection Chronicles as we chronologically uh, put these classic collection figures in order from year to year. And today we have our G.I. Joe Classic Collection series from 1997. The 1997 uh, collection of G.I. Joe's. Um, these were the newer articulated uh, bodies. These were the the more accurate military branches with uniforms in regards to uniforms, equipment, accessories. These were at the time some of the best action figures on the market. Guys, we're hanging out down here in our museum, we're relaxing, we're taking it easy. Uh, we have our sub super subscriber, uh, Brett uh, Truby, to thank uh, for the series uh, of videos that we'll be doing on the classic collection, uh, chronological um, videos. Uh, this was Brett's idea and we're just having a lot of fun with it. It's a fantastic idea. Like I said, I would love to take all the credit in the world uh, for this series, but I can't. This is this was definitely Brett's idea. This is his brainchild, and um, I'm I'm happy that he thought about it. That's the cool part about our channel and our subscribers. Um, they're watching. They're they're checking things out. They see things that uh you know that they feel could be uh, done better. They see things that they would like to see done on the, on our channel and they respond. And that's, that's the cool part about it. So with that being said, guys, I've had a cup of coffee. Let's jump right into it because we have a ton, as you can see. And I'm going to put a small disclaimer out. As I was researching the, the Classic Collection 1997 uh, G.I. Joe's, mind you, I have all of them. I have every last G.I. Joe exclusive or whatever that was put out in that year. I have it. Uh, 97, 98, 99, 2000, and so forth. So there were a few G.I. Joes that were listed under the 1997 banner, but they were not released. They wouldn't be released until 1998. These figures have the tags the foil sticker of 1997 on them and or they if they don't they have the 1997 year posted on the back of their box so to me being a purist these are the figures that were released physically released in 1997 and i believe there's 14 of them let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 12, 13, 14. So there's 14 of them. So we'll start here because as you can see, this box is supporting these, these GI Joes. I don't want a tidal wave to happen here. So we'll, but we'll move this out the way at this. Let me get this. Wait, get my fingers in the way here. Cause I'm just gonna lay them down once I, I start the process. Here we can throw, put that box out the way here. This is our 1997 G.I. Joe Classic Collection Historical Commander's Edition Series, General Dwight D. Eisenhower. And this, is the, this was the first in a series. Uh, Patton and Eisenhower came out. Four of these guys were created. Uh, Colonel Powell and Omar Bradley, Eisenhower, and Patton. And these two... Patton and Eisenhower 
were the first to come out. I got these guys back in 1997 from Toys R Us. And they just came with these fantastic fifth panels. All the information in the world. Here, let's, let me stand, let's stand him up for you. See if he'll stand by us. He'll stand by himself if I keep the panel open. Beautiful. Absolutely spot on. These were not cheap by any stretch of the imagination. These cost $50 plus some tax when they were first released. I believe you could still get these guys for right around that price. Maybe a little bit more uh, depending upon where you go. Cosmo Collectibles always have these guys in stock. So if you're looking for uh, an Eisenhower, you want to add him to your collection. As you can see, he came with everything. You name it. Um, you got... All the bang for your buck. Overcoat, everything. You can see our guys locked in there beautifully. Beautiful head sculpt and likeness. Had the foil type insert inside of the fifth panel. Uh, this was These were just beautiful figures. Um, these were considered the deluxe line of G.I. Joe at the time. Guys, we have videos, individual videos on all of these guys. If you you want to you want to see these guys, if you want to see them. And we're 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 kind of moving it a little bit because of time restraints. And, you know, you're trying to review 14 figures. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, I believe this was our first, or this was GI Joe's first. Uh, G.I. Joe Classic Collection, Medal of Honor. And this is uh, Francis S. Curry. Uh, this figure was absolutely gorgeous in every sense of the word. Um, beautiful. As you can see, he came with the, the World War II Forces Collection. But on the back of his box, I'll turn him around real quick. You'll see the 1997 uh, tag there. You can kind of see where some of these guys fall out. This is a perfect example. The Tuskegee fighter pilots were listed under the 1997 banner, but they weren't released until 1998. If that makes any sense. And here is our Francis Curry. Came with a ton of weapons. There's a story about the German Luger pistol there. Here on the insert. He was one of the few figures, the early figures, that was released with, actually released with the Medal of Honor. Uh, later versions of the figures, uh, different uh, G.I. Joe figures th that were... Medal of Honor recipients were not released with with the uh, the actual Medal of Honor. Um, I don't know why. I'll do some research into it. I haven't really found much, but as you can see, Francis Curry came with a ton. Uh, this bazooka, if you will, massive. He's one of my favorites. From this particular year. Guys, if you're just joining us, we're having fun here at the museum. We're moving it along. I love his helmet there. We're looking at our, our 1997 G.I. Joe Classic Collection figures. Here is our G.I. Joe 1997 Classic Collection Tank Commander. U.S. Army Tank Commander, I should say. There's his foil sticker from 1997. Um, beautiful artwork on these figures. Get you a blown out look here. He was one of my coolest. I 
I had two of these guys, a duplicate. I gave one away uh, years ago, like right around 1997 when I actually purchased them to uh, one of my uh, best friend's uh, sons, young, uh, younger son, youngest son. I gave it to him as a, as a present. I believe it was a birthday present. So I only have one of these guys now. This was the first one that I bought. So I gave him my actual duplicate that I bought. On the shoulder holster here with the Beretta. This outfit was fantastic. Move a jumpsuit. There's the boots. Look at the machine gun. The helmet was one of the selling points. That and this outfit. Shoulder holster was as well. Guys, what do you think of our classic collection? 1997 series. Uh, do you remember these figures? Do you have any of these figures? We want to hear all of that. Here is the first female G.I. Joe released in many years, many decades, since the G.I. Nurse. This was one of the first ones that the, the Hasbro released in 1997, the G.I. Joe Classic Collection. And they call it a G.I. Jane U.S. Army helicopter pilot. And there's her foil sticker there. Some of these guys are very dusty. I, I'm glad I pulled them out. That way I can dust some of these guys off. It's a blown out look at the box. Um, beautiful in every sense of the word. She was the first one to start this. She had this, uh, or Hasbro started the velcro system on the boxes so you could see that hasbro was really thinking about some of the collectors out there here's blown out look at the figure out of all of my uh gi jane gi joe slash gi joe action figures uh this one is my favorite not so much because she was the first one i just think they they did a fantastic job on her outfit Walkie talkie there. Really, Hasbro stepped up their game in 1997 with the classic collection line of figures. Um, the line broadened uh, volume wise, uh, originality wise, imagination wise, you name it. So this was a pleasant surprise. Collectors were really excited about having and owning their uh, first G.I. Joe slash G.I. Jane action figure. Her outfit is absolutely gorgeous. Um, beautiful. Keeping it moving, guys. Here is our Mercury astronaut figure. Another fantastic panel. He has, you name it, this, this figure has it all. Beautiful outfit. Beautiful box. Fantastic accessories. F.E.L. Schwartz would later uh, reintroduce a figure of this um likeness with the friendship seven space capsule we have that uh, you could check check that video out but uh, very realistic i love this love the oven mitts there they gave him there's this breathing apparatus here there's the nasa logo the helmet everything was fantastic 1997 was a fantastic year to be a G.I. Joe collector. Here is a fantastic, a fantastic figure. The G.I. Joe 1997 Classic Collection Sniper. U.S. Marine Corps Sniper. The artwork on this box alone was fantastic. 
Get your blown out look. Another one of my absolute favorites, uh, the ghillie suit. He's kind of an additional uh, M16 machine gun. Then he's got a sniper, uh, sniper rifle. They did a fantastic job of posing him with that, with that sniper rifle. Head sculpt, everything was beautiful about this figure. I will be adding another one. After all these years, I just never got around to adding another figure. And I absolutely love this figure. I'm, I'm shocked. Looking back, you know, nearly 20 years, over 20 plus years now, that I haven't added uh, a duplicate of this figure for our museum. He's just absolutely beautiful. I don't want to spend too much time on him, though, because he's, he's fantastic. Here is one uh, of the more difficult ones to find. Now you can find him on Coswell Collectibles. When he first came out, he was, he was released so far underneath the radar. Our Belgium Paracommando, G.I. Joe Classic Collection, Bureau, uh, Belgium Paracommando. There's his sticker. He was very difficult to locate. He was not in stores. I could not find this guy in stores. Did not buy him, purchase him uh, in stores. I actually purchased him off the Hasbro uh, website that's where he, that's where I found him at did not find him in stores some people said that he didn't exist and which made me naturally want him even more he too had the uh, velcro he's clean because like I said he didn't come from the store he came directly from Hasbro's uh, website get you a blown out look here of the figure of our Belgium Paracommando. Um, this beautiful netting on his helmet. He didn't come with a ton of accessories. What he came with was fantastic though. This is his um, FNC 5.56 rifle. Uh, look at the size of this, this beautiful radio though. Look how long the antenna is. Just blowing out a look at that. One of the rarest uniforms Hasbro would produce is this uniform right here. You'll be hard pressed to find this uniform on any other G.I. Joe figure that Hasbro has produ produced from 1996 all the way to 2005, 2004, I should say. Be hard pressed. That's how rare this outfit is. Another reason why this figure is so desirable amongst um, G.I. Joe collectors. Beautiful. Our G.I. Joe Classic Collection 1997 B-17 Bomber. You know what? Let me make sure. Because this is, I think this is a, no, yeah, he's, all right, he's listed at 1997. There might be one that I, I don't have up here that I needs actually needs to be up here. I think his brother, the, the PT Bolt Commander, isn't up here. But if you need to see a video of him, we have a, a video of the PT Bolt Commander. I'll make sure that the, the year was right on him. Beautiful blown out shot of him. Guys, if we've missed any one from our chronological series here for 1997, there's videos on all of these guys. So if, you, if there's one up here you didn't see and you want to see, uh, ask us. Leave it in the comment section right underneath this video and we will um, we'll let you know where you can find it at on our, on our channel's playlist. Look at all the beautiful items he came with. This was another one of my favorites. Absolutely had to. I tell you, he was one of my absolute favorites because I, I can tell you what I was doing. I went to the movies one night, but right before I went to the movies, I went to stop at Toys R Us and purchased this guy. And I didn't know about him. I didn't know about him. Heard a little bit about him, but just not a, not a ton of information on him. Our B-17 bomber crew 
Crewman. Um, absolutely beautiful. Look at the attention to detail, this uniform. Here's his case. Let us know what you think. There's his gloves up here. Um, I see these guys and it's, uh, I'm a kid all over again. And, and I was an adult when I bought these guys. I was probably 27 or 28 years old. Was this 97? Yes, yeah, so I was 27 years old when I pretty much purchased most of these guys. Here's our U.S. Army Drill Sergeant. This was a, I ordered this from uh, J.C. Penney's catalog, Christmas catalog. Uh, he looks super clean because he did not have to go through the rigors of being tossed around inside of a toy store, having people pick up the box, drop the box. So this was a clean, clean box because he came right from uh, J.C. Penney's. I ordered it from their their Christmas catalog and uh, they notified me that he was in, drove to JC Penney's and picked this guy up and get you a blown out shot of our U.S. Army Drill Sergeant 1997 G.I. Joe Classic Collection figure and he is absolutely gorgeous. Now he comes with little to no, he's got his headphones, the firing range headphones and then he's got a soft baseball cap there camouflage but that's it but he's a drill sergeant guys fantastic campaign hat look at the rubber bands on him starting to snap a little bit I'm, I'm surprised that these rubber bands held this long all the way from 1997 fantastic Moving right along, here is, out of all of my general, uh, historical commander series figures, this is my favorite, Patton. I, I tracked this figure through my G.I. Joe Collectors Club. Let's get you a blown out look here of the actual box before I, we go in. Fantastic. Look at the rubber bands have was strapped over his helmet. That's what 1997 will do. I hate those rubber bands. <laughs> A real zipper. The selling point was a couple things. His his outfit naturally. But the two pearl hand, handle pistols. And Willie, his uh, terrier, bull terrier, awesome. The outfit was stunning, absolutely stunning. You can see on the shoulder, he's got his insignias. Uh, beautiful likeness of Patton. We're going to keep it moving. Look at those. I can't get enough of those pearl handles. Fantastic. Very expensive, about $50 when I first purchased him. And he's maintained that price over the years. Uh, look, over the decades, right? Four to go. We're moving right along, guys. Our Navy avi Aviation Fuel Handler. Beautiful. Or navy grape figure, as they call them. Clean, uh, beautiful. There's his cap. Connectors here. It came with an M6. He came with an M16 rifle as well. Goggles. And his, his helmet was a, another selling point. The outfit, though, was the, was the ultimate selling point. How beautiful this outfit looked. Jeans. And here at the bottom, he's got boots. Those jeans flare at the bottom, too. Beautiful, guys. 
Guys, if there's any questions about any of these beautiful figures, please leave your comments in the, bo in the box right underneath this video. Moving right along. Here is our French Foreign Legionnaire. French Foreign Legion figure, 1997. The box art was absolutely fantastic on this. I had two of these figures. My, my baby daughter, she's, well, she's 10, she's always gonna be my baby. Uh, she's got me wrapped around her finger, so she saw my duplicate that I had of this one, and she wanted it. So, guys, I can't say no to my daughter. So she ended up with this, uh, the duplicate, the brother of this G.I. Joe. I couldn't tell you where he at, the duplicate's at now. <laughs> I don't think she could tell you. He's probably tossed in a bunch of boxes, but this is the original one that I purchased. Look at the, the weapon here. All these figures were just absolutely beautiful. Bayonet there. Jungle. French Foreign Legion. Fantastic. Getting close to the end, guys. This is this was another difficult one. The Shuttle Astronaut. G.I. Joe Classic Collection Shuttle Astronaut was extremely difficult to find. I'm going to bring him out and down so you guys can kind of sit him right here so you guys can kind of see him. Get you a blown out look. Robert L. Crippen. He was one of the few figures that had the actual likeness of the uh, person that he portrayed. And there's Shot here, Robert L. Crippen. It's the 1981 launch of the uh, Columbia Space Shuttle. And you can see how cool is that. Look at the logo on him. He's got, there's his name, American flag, the old NASA logo. I mean, the, well, he's, it's old now, but I, I, I wish they would go back to I think it's pretty cool helmet everything was beautiful about this figure hasbro did a fantastic job on these figures and that's I'm gonna put him back here and we're gonna bring our d-day salute down here this was released in july of 1997 and look what the box opens up into. That alone was worth the $50 plus that I paid. Get you a blown out look at this figure. Absolutely fantastic. This figure came with, with everything. You see the, the Chicago Daily Tribune. Gas mask. Rations plate there. Look at all the stuff, bedroll, you name it, entrenching tools, weapons, gas mask uh, holder here, dynamite, more rolls for a tent. Beautiful. The leg, the uh, ankle leggings here, real, not molded on, rifle. He was worth every cent of the $50 that I paid. Helmet with the, the hat and the netting. It didn't get any better than this. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm looking for a duplicate. The African American version of this figure as well. Guys. We would like to thank you. For hanging out with us today. And checking out. The G.I. Joe Classic Collection. Chronicles from 1997. Brett Turby, Truby, as I say, Brett Truby, we appreciate everything. God, we definitely appreciate you coming up with this idea. You know the routine, guys. God bless and keep collecting.